Hello and welcome to the DuraCloud trial account training video. My name is Carissa Smith and I am the DuraCloud Partner Specialist. In this video I will be walking you through the highlights of a DuraCloud trial account and how you can upload content, synchronize content, watch videos, and use your DuraCloud trial account to its maximum capacity. After submitting a trial account request form on the DuraCloud.org website, you should receive an email with a username and password to log into your DuraCloud trial account. Simply open up an internet browser and navigate to trial.duracloud.org. Insert your username and password into the appropriate fields and then log in. The first thing that I will note about the interface itself, the DuraCloud interface, is that it is a web application. And it is integrated with uh, both Amazon S3's cloud storage provider as well as the San Diego Supercomputer Cloud Storage uh, Center. The DuraCloud trial account is a full-fledged preservation uh, plus subscription trial. So all of the features and functionality that you see in this trial account are the same that you would experience if you signed up for the preservation plus plan on the DuraCloud.org website. Starting in the top left-hand corner of the interface, you'll see not only the DuraCloud branding, but below that, the Amazon Web Services logo. That gives you an indication that the content in the interface below is currently stored at Amazon S3. Below that uh, Amazon logo is the column for spaces. One thing I'll note about the interface is that it is a left-to-right navigation, so you, as you drill down and move right on your screen, you will get more uh, detailed information. The spaces column here on the left uh, is just a, a DuraCloud term for a content container or a content bucket. Um, essentially, it's, it's a storage container for the content you have stored in the cloud. In the welcome area, you will find not only this video, but also a readme text file regarding more information about the DuraCloud trial account for which you've signed up. In the examples space, you will find, if you click on the space name, some sample content that we have um, added to your, your trial account uh, in order for you to view the capabilities of DuraCloud. There are several uh, content types available within this view, a PDF, a couple JPEG images, and also an MP4, which is available for streaming. Simply click on the content item, and on the right-hand side, uh, you will be able to view the streaming capabilities built within DuraCloud. Note that streaming is turned off for any content that you, the trial user, would happen to upload. Uh, this is the only video alongside of this uh, training video that is available for streaming in DuraCloud uh, through the course of the trial account. Note that the center panel is the list of content items that are available uh, and stored in DuraCloud. If you click on a space name, the space detail panel will appear on the right-hand side of your screen. And if you click on a content item, the content detail panel will appear on the right hand side of your screen. So just note that regardless, or depending on what you've selected, uh, a certain detail appear, will appear on the right hand side of your screen. The last space that you have access to is the trial space where you have the ability to add uh, content uh, to your DuraCloud account. You can do that in one of uh, several ways. You can click the Add Items button here in the center of your screen, and that will allow you to add multiple items through the DuraCloud web interface, but multiple items meaning multiple files and folders from your local machine. If you click on the Get Sync Tool button, you will be presented with a download of the DuraCloud synchronization utility which would then uh, be stored on your local machine. You simply double click on that downloaded file and it will launch the synchronization tool graphical user interface where you have the ability to select multiple files and folders from your local machine or a networked server and track their upload status uh, through this tool um, as, it, as the content gets moved into DuraCloud. Um, it performs several other features and functionality, and I would encourage you to visit the DuraCloud YouTube channel, um, where there is a detailed training video regarding how to use the, the graphical sync tool available, as well as other very helpful training, training videos regarding other features and functionality of DuraCloud. 
The last thing to note is that when you add content to this trial uh, space that you have access to, it will automatically be replicated to the secondary provider that's available to you. To navigate to that secondary provider, simply select it from the pull down in the top right corner of your screen. As I've mentioned previously, it is the San Diego Supercomputer Cloud Storage Area. You will um, not only select the provider from the pull down, but you will also notice that on the left hand side of the screen, the logo changes, giving you a visual indication that you are now in uh, a new uh, storage provider area of DuraCloud. You'll note that the spaces remain exactly the same, and you do have access to the same trial space, and the content that you've added to Amazon will automatically propagate over to the uh, SDSC storage area. One thing to keep in mind is that all secondary copies of your content uh, is read-only, meaning that you can view them through the DuraCloud web interface, but you can make no changes to the content that is stored in secondary providers. So it is read-only read through the interface. To navigate back to the Amazon, uh, what we term the primary storage area, simply choose Amazon S3 from the provider pull-down window in the top right part of your screen. There's a lot of information in terms of statistics um, available to you at both the space and content uh, levels. If you select a space and see the space details, they, they are presented to you here on the right. Um, because I'd like to keep this video short, I won't, uh, I won't walk through them, but they are relatively straightforward. And with that, I encourage you to add content to your DuraCloud trial account and give it a whirl. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to email info at duracloud.org and someone will get back to you shortly. Enjoy your DuraCloud trial account.